Hello everybody, welcome to Radio Rejects, where we host our local rejects, creatives, artists, anyone that you can think of around the Joliet, Chicago area that is into the art scene. Today we have our local creative and reject, Fletcher. Say hi to Fletcher, everyone. Uh, <laughs> he has been known to write amazing music, do a little bit, bit of visuals, and stay on Instagram, memeing, and... T- <laughs> took a bite of heat. <laughs> uh, also, our host right here, we have two... Depending on where you're looking at, we have DJ Sab. Sab, go ahead and say what's up. What's up, guys? DJ Sab here. And I'm Lou, your other host, too, as well. So, like Ulysses said, um, Ulysses is probably, like, <coughs> one of your biggest fans, to be honest. Your biggest um, fans, I hear. Yeah, honestly, every time he's in a car with me, he always plays your music. So I've I've listened to your stuff plenty of times. Um, Appreciate so to, it. Thank you. Yeah, to kind of jump right in, the reason why Ulysses is kind of key in this conversation is because he obviously is doing um, a, view, a visual with you, like a music video for one of your biggest songs. So uh, yes, it's before, before, correct? That's the song. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you give us a little um, kind of background on that song alone? Like, obviously, it went pretty viral, and just kind of go from the roots of the song into its viral sensation, and now where it's kind of floating around with you and Ulysses. Um. Well, before it started off as Lokia, uh, like one of those like YouTube type beats. It was like one of okay. those, like it was a, uh, it was like Rico Nasty, the baby, you know, all, all of that. But it was um, when I heard it, I just heard, I heard something in it that was like, all right, cool, this could be real catchy, but I wanted to give it bars. So I was, I, whenever I like find a beat that I really like, what I do is I ride around in my car with it for like at least a couple days, maybe a few hours, until I get a vibe for it, right? And I try to, you know, come up with lyrics for it. And I just thought about how I wanted to talk about, basically, like. I just wanted to get, take it back to a point where, let me give it, I wanted to rap for real, for real, based on how I've been rapping. I, uh, the way to explain this is basically I wanted to really just give this song bars. I wanted to do the utmost with it while trying to keep it really simple. So I talked about, you know, before I had to let it fly like an eagle, before my cousin lived his life too illegal, so on and so forth. I came up with bars just based on things that I was dealing with in previous in life, things that I found to be struggle, so on and so forth. And okay. I just I try to put that all together. And yeah, because the song itself is pretty, it's pretty aggressive too, right? I mean, it has a little yeah. bit of a switch, but it's it's ultimately like from the from the beginning to the end, it's it's like it hits, it goes with the beat, but it's also like extremely aggressive lyrics. Is that yeah, do you I have wonder, any of that prior to making the song, or is it like everything was original with that beat? Everything was original with that beat. Everything that I had okay. for it was something that, what I came up with for it. I um, I just. I low-key had to lock myself in for the actual verse of it. I I had to sit down. I was at my friend's crib. Uh, I was at uh, Santi's, and I set, spent a whole bunch of time sitting there writing um, at least for two hours trying to get those bars right for that song. But I, want, I wanted it to be aggressive enough to attack, but quick enough to give you some type of metaphor where you could be like, ooh, that was, that was nice, you know? I just... Um, yeah. And from that point there, we... I spent months. I let I let that song sit for months with me after I finished recording it, mixing it down and everything. I let it sit for a long time. Uh, I kept sending it to friends. People kept telling me, "Oh, this is really hard. I really like this. I messed with it." I finally released it around about August after I had released the project, and uh, I believe around that time we were looking around trying to find a way to you know promote this song the best way. I was using Instagram, Twitter, any type of way I can. Meet. I made videos, snippets. And we ended up, you know how uh, No Jumper does those streams, the live streams. Yeah, yeah. Where they normally preview people's music who come around. We we saw it. We were like, you know what? Let's take the opportunity. We put a hundred dollars in to go see, you know, just for him to stream the song on the on the live stream just to see what they thought. And yeah. he ended up really fucking with the song. And that right there, I think, was the thing that really helped us a lot in where the streams grew from there because it there it just it kept popping. Now, when you uh, when you heard that stream originally, like it was a live stream. That was the first time mm-hmm. you hearing. That was the first time he's hearing your song too, as well. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Because he's just he's just playing it like, oh, here's a here's a a submission. Let's go ahead and play it and see. Now, do they 
Uh, I'm not too familiar with that. Do they judge it right then and there, or do they just kind of let it ride out? It's like a regular. They'll let it. Yeah, they'll let it ride all the way out. Like they'll listen to the entire song all the way through, and then he'll be like, you know, if he likes it, he likes it. If he'll he'll talk about it. The people in the live stream will talk about it. They'll, they'll be commenting. And, like trash, or they'll put like fire emojis everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, like stuff like that. See what everyone's thinking, right? And yeah, yeah, and he liked the song, and the part that kind of got us. So what they do is they charge a hundred dollars for them just to play the song, and they'll charge two hundred if you wanted to like get reposted on SoundCloud or reposted anywhere that he has it. He gave us the repost for free, and that was the okay. part that was like, whoa, for real? Like it was. I remember that day very vividly. We were all just hanging out, and it was like, I wasn't even thinking about doing anything musical at that point. I was literally drawing at the kitchen table, just chilling. And they hit me up, yeah. like, yo, man, this thing is blowing up. I was like, yo, for real? Like, what? Now, so, did that have, like, um? so you said you weren't doing anything musical at that time? Like, I was, was just, still, I was, I was just, music. at that moment. Yeah, I was just, oh, okay. I was just chilling. Yeah, I was just chilling. Oh, okay, okay. Now, from it, there, a lot deeper kind of, <laughs> okay, yeah. So at the moment, you weren't really doing anything, you know, in, in the moment right now. But um, yeah. did that kind of like reset your path on how to because I mean, that, that's kind of like something where it's it becomes viral. So you're ultimately mm. put in a position where like, OK, now I'm under the gun. Like I got to make up. I got to make something, you know, to, to 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 actually live in that momentum and keep it going. Do you feel anything sure. off of that? I do feel like I do. I have to keep a consistent, like, I feel like now I have to try to, I have to try to, from there, I have to grow. I have to show improvement each time. I have to at least be able to give something, like, I have to get quality concept, you know, and I feel like I have to put my best foot forward. But I, that, that was one of the reasons why we started to push uh, Fat Boy Fridays the way we did. We try, I was trying to drop something every Friday for, every, every week I was trying to drop something every Friday. I don't, how many, I don't remember how many weeks I went. Um, okay. I want to say off top, we went about, cause it started with before and from that we went forward, uh, to, I want to say we dropped before, after that was LOL, okay, bet, um, loose change, jock syrup, signs, not likely. Uh, I'm definitely missing a couple in between the sodium. That was when we tried to keep that momentum going. And that was when I was like, all right, cool. Since we got this little bit of buzz. Let's try to see how far we can really take this and push this. And since then I've been, I, after I stopped doing that, I've just been trying to work on this project and trying to get everything going forward there. Okay. So is this, um, are you kind of relaunching the project itself in some way, like with the music video and everything like that? Or are you just kind of working on a new project and then re releasing that right now? Uh, right now, what we're uh, with the with the video specifically, I'm working on that because I want to. That was something that was it was it was kind of a, like a landmark in what I've been working on. So it's like, all right, I'll, I'll definitely want to go ahead and get a video for that. So yeah, that's kind of like I was I wouldn't say necessarily working on like like the past. It's just more like it's more. I really just want to like. I want to maximize on that as much as I can. I want to be able to, because that's something that people really enjoy, and I really like that song myself. It was one of, my, yeah, it was one of the hyper songs I've made out of. So I was just, I really wanted to make sure I capitalized on that and make sure I got a video out for the people so that people can, you know what I'm saying, have something to go along with what they're listening to. At least what I okay. was, you know, what I was thinking about. That was I was making it. Yeah, I I want to get before we get into your and um, Ulysses and yours uh, like relationship and how you guys met. I kind of wanted mm -hmm. to talk about too, with your experience, being that you're from within this area mm -hmm. um, and you've had this success, right? Or this acknowledgement from like some, like a big brand, a big company, you know, that has a, a good amount of, mm -hmm. I guess, credibility in the scene and, and they acknowledge mm -hmm. your, your, your song. Did you notice a shift locally um, within your group of artists, group of creatives from before that song and you trying to do it and then after that song? Like, did you notice like a, a switch up in people or more requests to do features? Did you notice any of that? I didn't, I didn't, within the local scene, I wouldn't say like I noticed any like type of shift. Like if anything, like 
like I, from the local scene that I've dealt with, I, it's always been really supportive. I've always tried to, you know, reach out with with the people around, like Marcus No Good, Corrali, you know, Illustrator, so on and so forth. I've, 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 Lassa. I'm trying to think of all the names I can right now. I'm just struggling. I'm sorry. Um, no, no worries. But, oh, no worries. but like I, I've always tried to keep in with the community. I've always tried to, you know, I, I like to see other people around me winning. Just like, just, just like I want to win. I know others want to win too. And why not? If all of us can win, why not? work towards that goal i never noticed like any type of shift or anything like that i've gotten i've gotten requests for features from people outside of the area that kind of increased that was kind of weird like it's yeah it's cool but like that's that's been like the the wildest thing to me it's like people who never i've never met before i've never seen before i've never even heard of it's like yo hey i really want to do a song with you like come like i've heard this and that's been pretty cool Okay. Do you yeah, yeah. do you as far as like other artists when you talk about like wins and you want to see other people win, do you feel like you define wins differently? You know what I mean? Cuz some you some people might take like, you know, this gig is a win or um getting a verse from a dude is a win and like how do you, you know, what's a win for you to keep you going and, and keep you wanting inspired or so? You know what I mean? Um what win. what wins are you looking for yourself? A win for myself is and with me, wins for me are knowing that one to know that I want to start a project and getting it all the way through and finishing it. That's a win for me just because it's like the process is something, right? But right. a win for me is outdoing myself from the last time, knowing that I'm growing in what I'm doing, that I'm pushing for my full desire. I'm putting my full intention to it and then I'm able to reap the benefits, whether it be me just getting the gig, whether it be getting you know what I'm saying, a bunch of streams on a song, whether it be a bunch of people checking out the videos, a bunch of people checking out the Twitters, things like that, it, whether it be that, like, I want I want to see people, well, whatever they desire as a win, I, that's what I want to see people get. I don't, I don't, I don't see the benefit of hating on nobody. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's right. just, why not? It's doing we too we all got the same, yeah, it's like we all got the same desires and goals. Why not all push for it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we might as well right. all, hey, I know a homie who out here who does this with cameras. You know, you should check them out for music videos. Hey, I know somebody who DJs. It's things like that. I think little right. things like that are important. I think we're community. Why not? Just being known you know? as that person is, is like pretty cool. Like, oh yeah, like oh I know a guy that does that. You, I'll, I'll, I'll toss you straight to him. Yeah. Yeah, and then, right. and that it's builds just, and that builds for, for that person that builds more connections. Like, it's like, like, for, right, cool. like for other people, it's be like oh no. Right. Like, and, and honestly, it, they can't at least them. everyone being involved have even more accountability with each other. You know what I mean? Like from the mm-hmm. client or from whoever you're trying to work with to the from the plug to the the person that's acting on it. If you do, you know, you've been recommended by someone, you do a good job. That makes everyone that you've helped in between just all look good because they know they can go to that person if they need someone of quality or something it's of whole, quality. It's a you know what I mean? Process. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, can we can we get a little bit of a background between you and Ulysses? Because obviously this is going from the song itself is going into now you're recording the video. Obviously, Ulysses is kind of like the, the director, the, the front runner for all of this um, happening. Mm-hmm. So we have obviously some stuff that we can sneak peek and, and do that, too. But can we get a little bit of a background between how you guys met and then overall, like like this whole working together on this video? So... Me and Ulysses met back at JJC. I want to say around it was it was either the end of 2015 or early 2016. I and think it, it, boy, it was that, the, yeah, it was the end of 2015. In 2015, bro. And at the time, we had like a huge group at JJC. I, I had a we had a huge gathering of friends. We it, was, it was like 20 people. <laughs> so and many people. Yes, we had like 20 people. At, at one area, one table, and I can't even front, but we were definitely like the loud kids in the flag hallway who were just being rowdy, <laughs> running bunch, just playing music, you know what I'm saying? Freestyling on the bridge, doing stuff like that. And I've always kept close with that, the people I had in that community. Like I know, like as a bunch of people, I know like Christian. Um, <clears throat> who else do I know from there? I, it's a, I've met a, a, a plethora of people just from going to JJC and just hanging around people. And yeah. Ulysses is one of the homies from there. We used to meet him and uh, meet him. Sans used to kick it all the time, go to McDonald's, go wild adventures, dude. Bridge. Let go. Oh, oh my God, that's so much time. But yeah, uh, but I know Ulysses is obviously like we like we said, he's he's a pretty big fan of your music. I mean, he he does promote you pretty well. I mean, I don't I don't know, like 
He's always <laughs> playing your stuff. So it's good. It's good to see. Yeah, him, it's you know, uh, like, I, his I appreciate support. it. it it's really. something you can, can, like, there's always something, like, when you wake up in the morning, like, you can go out and play. And, like, in, when you try to listen to something banging in the afternoon, you can play something. Yeah. It's, not like, yeah. it's not like those artists, yeah, like where I, all, they just all have some, like, sad boy shit that's going on now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like that song, um, Signs, that you have. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah that it's one. a really, really good song. Like, I mean, overall, like, um... A lot of your songs too, as well. They they have I personally like now. I mean, it's not like brand new, but it's something where within the beats they switch. So essentially, mm-hmm. your flow can switch. You know, you get like right. a drop, and all of a sudden the beat's a completely different beat. It's almost like two or three beats blended in together. And then yes. as an artist, I'll... I'm sure. Yeah, as an artist, I'm sure with you, that gives you more like more of a playground like you said like you listen oh, to playing yeah. off of his words to kind of like bounce off of like different melodies and different play on words um is that something that you've always kind of gravitated to because like he said with your with his with his like reference to like sad boy shit like yours is mm-hmm. very like um conscious like it's very like in mm-hmm. tune with your own feelings and stuff so is that something that you've mm-hmm. always kind of stuck to or is it something where maybe you drifted off you're like this is really where i'm gonna project forward I've always, like, from the beginning, I've always tried to make my music based on, like, how I was really feeling, what, where where I was emotionally, where I was mentally, where I was, just everywhere. So I try, like, I even think back to my very first project. My very first project was called uh, Always Been Awkward. And it was just, like, it was literally about my my uh, senior year in high school, me having a crush on some girl back in high school. So it was, it was I, I like to put my life into things, and that's that's based on music I like to listen to, like. I love listening to Drake, and it and and it's just it's mainly because Drake is willing to be in tune with his feelings. Drake is willing to it's relatable. It's something that you can feel. It's something like, oh damn, I've been through this type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's just I've always tried to keep if 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 it's I've always been taught to if I'm gonna say something, it, it you need to say something. Like don't don't just talk to talk. Don't just make music to make music. Say something. Make yeah. people feel you. Yeah. So, so is this um now is this project this are you working on something brand new within these next couple of months that you're trying to release? Is it going to be individual tracks? Is it going to be an overall project? It's going to be an overall project, most okay. definitely an overall project. I'm it's uh uh I'm I'm really excited for that. That's going to be that's I think this I've been working on it. I've been spending a lot of time just especially since like everything's been going on lately I've, I've had more time to actually sit here and work on it rather than going just to, of course just you know just kick it with the homies i've been i'm excited for this one it's this is you probably got some, you got some fire yeah. dropping or what yeah this is probably i'll be honest this is probably the most vulnerable i've ever been in the project but okay uh, i think that as in like I you were that, open to like different type of like like not genre. not even just that I, I'm I was I was definitely oh yeah I was definitely here. I was, as, a, I was like def- a whole. A, as a whole yeah. I've been yeah I've been in tune with different genres I've been I'm I'm trying to I'm, I'm even like like I said I'm, I'm kind of even like being a little bit more, more open with myself with certain things it's just like okay I think this album is gonna be it's it's gonna be a good one I think I I might have something with this one now do you have That's any details on it as far as like how many tracks um the length of it I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Uh, I, it's called Simp. It's, that's I, I can tell you that right now. It's called Simp. It's gonna be about eight to ten. It's, we're gonna keep it real short. I like to I like to keep it brief just so it, it leaves people wanting more. You know what I'm saying? It, it just yeah. keep it real brief. Keep it. Yeah, exciting. you don't want to over over uh, overstay your your welcome to one. Like sometimes with albums that are so long, like Drake. We talked about Drake. Drake that uh, mm-hmm. Scorpio uh it was a little too long like it was, it was long <laughs> too long. yeah i mean yeah. there was some, there were some great songs in that too but i think it was like very like it overstayed the welcome like we could have we could have done one and then released another one midsummer or something like that so i think going with that right. like that eight eight to ten you know very you know make them all sweet you know that'd probably be do, uh, doing a lot better too as well now is, mm-hmm. is ulysses I'd... gonna be hopefully working on some stuff with that too as well maybe some some videos for those We'll see. I do plan on having, I do have plan on having that man come through for, for a little something, something. 
Definitely. How how is the uh, how's the music video going so far? Can you get, give us a little bit of you know you haven't seen much of it, correct? I have not seen much of it. No, I, I just sent him the uh, the intro. Okay, and I've seen a good you know a recent portions like stuff that he sent me yeah. to as well. But um, mm. yeah, so can you give us a little background as far as like the the video process, like where the ideas come from, without giving it too too much away, obviously. Uh. Ideas came from definitely it was a it was a random Sunday. We ran into Ulysses. We saw we were driving around. It was me and Santi. We were driving around. It was me, Santi, and his brother riding around Shorewood. Just like we were looking for certain spots to like. We were thinking about this video and we were looking for certain spots to go. Like where will we shoot? What what could we do? And we link up with him at our uh, local Starbucks. Yeah, we, we just sat, we talk about it. Sat come, down. Went over the we'll music. Sit down, like, like, a few, like 50 times and we just yeah. wrote notes on what like we were gonna do at each part of course mm. you know things change so we didn't do all of them but that's uh yeah the way little... the way he explained it to me too you had like a lot of ideas for like every individual line it seemed like you wanted like a yeah we, transition well, we, move, we, yeah but... it, it was it was just more of a we'll see what fits best because you know you're not gonna get all of it in there yeah Yeah. but you 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 gotta like shoot to edit you gotta figure out you can't just go in and like oh shit i don't know what i'm gonna do next and then think about it for like two hours on the day of like you gotta have shit ready yeah Yeah, you gotta uh, we had to know i'm sorry go ahead no go ahead we just just had to know what we were walking into with it i i the only thing i i had a few ideas of what i thought i would want to do things like we could do like we but i I kept coming up with stuff, so I kept writing it down. Like, hey man, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? So, but now, were th- were these ideas for that song, or are these ideas that maybe you can kind of keep reserved for like another another video? Like, I think I could keep some of these. That song? Yeah, there, there's I was a, thinking there's a at the time I was thinking specifically. Okay. Okay. But like, okay, I think cool. I think definitely there's a, a bunch of those ideas that we could definitely put to the side on for next things coming. Yeah, I can see that. Um, and then Ulysses, how was that project like as far as like from your own words? Like, because this is one of your first music videos. Yeah, so, it's I mean, my first uh, music video. It's just that it's, it's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> when, when like you your it's your one? first video and you really want it to make make something look good. Yeah. And then and then you sit down and you just like you think about it too much, but I feel like. That's what I've been doing a little, and I should just yeah. like execute what I'm, what I, what I see. But it's, it's hard at some you know, time. I trust, I trust your vision. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's more so. Because I feel like, like, I'm, music, music, so I feel like too, I'm doing so. well. I feel like I'm doing well. Have yeah. you been? Because I, I feel like I've been, I've been this myself too. Have you been looking for new ideas now when you see music videos or something like that? Like sometimes when yeah. I just see new content, like I've been trying to like, look for just like I'll sit, how, I'll, I'll, sit, I'll sit down. And like I have like a, a video creator group on like on like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. And so you'll just like one day you'll just like sit down and go through like 20 posts of what everyone's making videos of. And then before like I never used to watch TV and commercials. And then I watch the commercials and I'm like, damn, like they they put a lot into this. Like this is well made. Like I used yeah, to like yeah. hate commercials and I'm like, oh, like these people are doing like some crazy editing and some like hard ass stuff that you wouldn't think is hard just because you see it on a commercial yeah i think it's just eye-opening like you get more in depth and you want to try to like be like those people because they're 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 crazy insane yeah yeah so um how do you fletcher i'm talking to you uh how do you um do your beat selection i mean do you produce yourself too as well that's is that my correct with that yeah I, i do produce uh myself as well i um when it comes to me and beats, it it normally my the way I pick out beats is normally I'm riding around in my car. I normally either am at work delivering pizza. I'm driving to like one of my friends' houses. I'm going somewhere. I'm just driving around having a cruise, just a blunt cruise. Uh, I'm sitting up here going through all of these beats that I have on I found on YouTube. I'm looking through pages. I'll, I'll go scrolling for hours. I'll even you know I have friends who send me beats and things like I'll sit there and I'll just I'll listen. I'll whatever I can catch. If I can find something and I'll just start freestyling. I'll whatever I can get and just 
a pattern, if I can catch a melody, if I can find something, I'll try to build from there. And that's where that's where everything will come from with me. Um, okay. Did, did you I see that beat I sent you? The beat? Oh, yeah, with the... Uh, oh, dude, I downloaded that sample myself. Yeah, so I was actually dude. Oh, on my it tonight. goodness. Yes. Bro, I was... It was this, uh, he dropped the beat at, like... Because there was a viral vir- uh, video on Twitter. Oh, what was okay. the song? What was the song she was singing? Uh, I wish, I wish you love. Yeah, like on, on like it was a ukulele, a guitar. I forget which one, it, what it was. Mm-hmm. I think it was a guitar. But then, yeah, then you some, sent, like you sent I, that to us, right? Yeah, I sent it to you guys in the comment. There was like some dude made a remix, and I, he dropped like two in the morning. I was like, damn, this is the hardest shit I've heard today. I was like, oh my goodness, I had to send it to you guys. So if you watch it, 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 it's like you watch the regular video, it'll make you cry, and then you go down one, and then you're fucking happy again. You're like, oh shit, <laughs> Let, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi, how you doing over there? Got any questions, Sam? Um, I know we're, we're this so... is a little weird for us, Fletcher. So I'm like, we're we are originally gonna do like some, like, hey, I got a question, because like we're obviously we talk over people instead of like in person, so. It's a little weird. Mm-hmm. I got Sab, so Sab, you know, if you want to do a question, <laughs> just like, just like put your hand in front of the screen or something. No, I'm more so um, Fletch on your on your most recent project that's out right now. Um, listening through mm-hmm. it, what was your influences going through that? Like, were you tapping into a specific era or like a specific um, artist influence or like what 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 was um. Uh, what was just like your North Star during that project? For Three Day Theory, my North Star in that that's I don't, that's hard. I I um I had a bunch of influences during that project. It was Isaiah, um, Smino, I had Make in my head, Mick Jenkins. Yeah. Um was it which I, Smino I, project? Is that like just Black Swan or his most recent one? Those two are uh, very most different recent themselves. One. Yeah. The very the most recent one, Noir was I love Noir. It was yeah. It was an amazing album. This this I spent two years trying to work on Three Day Theory. I okay. I ended up um a big when I when I first started the biggest influence off Rip was Isaiah Rashad and that's why I made uh, Pressure. Um. I was definitely trying to make something hard, yeah. like uh, I was definitely trying to come like a Playboy Cardi a little bit, but in my own way, on mm. with Grandma's Porch. But like okay. it was, it was my uh, man. I'm, I I can't think of like what would my biggest influence be on the on Three Day Theory, like yourself. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, really though, it was a melting was, pot of all those. Things. Really. All about you. <laughs> it was. It was all from you. It was like the album was just that album was really like the album was really like specific to my life at the time too. It, it just really, it was really what I had went through that whole 2017, 2018. It was just all that packed yeah. into all those vibes. Oh my God! Wait, you know what? You know what? I'm willing to include this. Definitely, damn, damn, definitely influenced that album a lot. I spent a okay. lot of time. Oh, yeah, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was getting a lot of those damn vibes even when I was listening to it because I've been throwing that on in the gym, man, because that's just, like, some tracks on there, it, it just gives that same Kendrick, not saying, like, comparing you to them, but just, like, that 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 Kung Fu Kenny vibe where you're just, like, you're, there's energy and, and, like, there's a there's punches behind, you know, each track. Yeah, thank you, bro. I... I Kenny one of the ghosts, bro. I can't even deny. It. Like that comparison made me happy. I can fuck with you. <laughs> but, like, I, but like, bro, like so that's the best comment I got. Not, like, no, like for definitely real. that. And like those 2014, like Forest Hill Drive, like that's the sounds I was getting out of that. I was like, oh, this oh, is man. dope, man, because this just feels like more. Um, it just feels refreshed. You know what I mean? Like a a good mm-hmm. new touch on those, but in a different way. But I could I could definitely hear the vision in it. Thank you, bro. For real, I. The the whole project in like the base, it came from like a dream I had like a long time ago. Like in 2017, I had this like super like weird ass dream about 
going up a mountain like with chains on me. I, the, the whole the whole scenery of that dream, the, the three day theory, the track list, and everything the way I set it up is based on this dream. I was in my dream, I was going up this giant ass cliff. I got like chains on my, my on my ankles. I'm like shackled up. I'm like bleeding. I'm out of breath. I have I had asthma. I've kind of grown out of it as I've gotten older. But like for whatever reason, I felt it like flaring in my chest when I was going up this mountain. So I got all these people I care about pushing me up. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. You got it. Don't fucking quit. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm I'm going up. And then in the middle of me going up, I see like some girl crying on the other side of the cliff. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I like walk over to her. As soon as I get to her, she stops fucking crying. That's fucking weird. So of course I kind of in in the dream I kind of freaked out a little bit. But she's like, hey, don't even worry about it. All is well. She like gave me a kiss on my cheek, grab my hands. She pulls me up this fucking like. All the weights that I had on me felt like nothing. She's pulling me up this fucking, like, this cliff. Like, I'm going up the side of this mountain or whatever. And we get to the top. Everything is cool. Everything is smooth. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, these figures that are kind of, like, built like I am start beating the dog shit out of me. Just, like, <laughs> fucking me up. So I'm, like, calling for help. I'm calling for help. Everything looks so I'm good. looking for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm calling for everybody around me. Nobody's there. Nobody's answering me. So the only person I see is this girl there. So I'm calling out to her. And she walks up to me as these dudes are like beating me up. They like start hanging me off the cliff to like drop me off. Like, yo, like I'm asking for help. And she looks me dead in my face and she says, You can help everybody else around you except yourself. And they like drop me off this fucking cliff. And so within them dropping me off this cliff, like I remember having a conversation with somebody. I can't remember exactly what this conversation I had with them was, but I had a conversation, a deep talk. And I remember for whatever reason, like I was surrounded in black having this deep talk. And all of a sudden, like snap like that, I'm at the bottom of a hole. So like I climb out of this hole. I'm like, now I'm like, my clothes are changed. Things are different. I'm going back up the mountain. I don't have any weight. So I'm just jumping up the mountain. I get back to the top and the girl's pissed and I'm back. And she starts complaining to me, like, why are you come back? Why would you come back? I've thrown you off the mountains, so on and so forth. And I just looked at it, and I pointed and said, I have more mountains to climb. And on that horizon, there's a bunch more mountains. And I fucking wake up. Weirdest mm-hmm. fucking dream I've ever had in my life, bro. Never I don't even know how you me, remember that. That's a deep-ass yeah, dream. Bro. I wrote it. Deep-ass when I woke dream, up, I wrote that shit down, bro. I most, most teams, I'm trying to slow-mo punch people. Yeah. <laughs> I wish no, I had your kind of dreams. Dream. In real life, you trying to slow mo punch people, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even. I can't even. Rem- I imagine how you would remember all that. To be honest, were you super vivid. Was, was there a oh, deep yeah, layer to that? Right were you going through a, like a a point in that in that time where you were helping a lot of people just because you had your own problems going yourself? So that when you help other people, you kind of just forgot about your problems. Was that kind of it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's like that. Whenever my like. When people around me are going through things, I do try to like put off what I got going. I try to help. I try to, I try to be there. And like sometimes I throw off the weight of my own shit. So like, if say I got like thirty dollars in my bank account, if I have somebody who like one of my friends, not my friends, but like, no, yeah, even my friends. Like if somebody close to me hits me You're up, like, nah, fuck me, like, my friends. I need, <laughs> I need like. Yeah. <laughs> I need like twenty dollars. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm short. I really need twenty dollars to help me get through the week. Blah blah blah. And I, I know I have thirty dollars. I know all I have is thirty. I'll still be willing to be like, yo, I'm, you know, I'll help out with the thirty. Or if I can't do that, not the thirty, but the twenty. If I can't help out with the twenty, I'm trying to do the fifteen. But I know I have shit that's coming up on my way that I'm gonna need at least twenty dollars for, and I'm fucking myself out of it. But like, yeah, I was going through a time where I was basically putting. I felt like I was putting the weight of the world on my back, and mm. I wasn't considering myself in any of those options instead of like, there was no self care. You know what I'm saying? It was more, yeah. it was about everybody else around me. Yeah. Mm. Ulysses, um, what's your favorite song off the project? This uh, three day. Three day? Yeah. Damn, bro, you're putting uh, <laughs> a, lot, a lot on me right now, dude. He said, name five of your favorite Pleasure songs right now. <laughs> oh, there's, uh, definitely Signs, Sodium, I like uh, All That I Know, right? That's one of them. That's the classic. 
Yeah, bro. I li- that shit. I was, you were screaming in my ear. I was like, damn, bro. Relax. <laughs> 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 that song, hella loud. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Oh, my it. goodness. There, and then there's... uh. What else? What else do I play? I, well, before I've listened to it like a thousand times, dude. Uh, and then we got what is it? Nextel? Yeah. Yeah. Nextel. Oh, now which? Uh, this is but that's just I freaking, too. That, I, I, I freaking went totally. Ah. Uh, we went off a different topic <laughs> from my, favorite, my yeah. favorite song onto the album to, to uh favorite f- five songs in general. Is there a video yeah. of Ulysses uh, other than before that you would ideally like to do a video for? That I, you I, listen I, to it and you're like, I, like I would to love do, to do a video for this. Yeah, yeah, I, I like to do signs. That would be cool. That's why I put a little kind of like in the in my intro, I put a little. Like a little signs. teaser, like we're gonna do signs next. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I that's pretty dope. That, that ain't a bad idea. Before yeah. signs, and then but I clicked on before because we're doing before first. But yeah, I, was, I, I had a, a, an idea, a little concept. I, don't, I feel like okay. it ruined it if I explained it right now. But yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Now, when is the uh, the video coming out? Do you guys have a release date for this? Well, first. I still have to finish it. <laughs> yeah, because is now is it now are you guys suffering from it because of what's going on right now in the world too as well? Like you haven't been able to really like finish this project because of that, or is it more so the editing backhand? Oh, it's it's definitely because I still got to work. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, have you finished all the shooting? Oh no, yeah. Well, I did want to get a few more angles, so we could. Okay. I mean, we could technically still go do that. Just so I have a little more to work with. Okay, but ultimately we, we only shot the the, fir- the first shots were like pretty much indoor shots. Okay. Um, there was there was a motion, but there wasn't like I wanted to get like left shots like of his face and like right side of his face, and, like some drone shots and just like m- some more movement, like maybe walking outside or something. Okay. So, okay. So, but. But like I said, like with what I'm doing, like I'm doing fine with like what I have. I have like already a, a bunch of ideas of what I want to do. So it might, it, like, if we go shoot more, it might change my vision of the video. So I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll think about it. Now, Fletcher, is there, is there? I don't know if we where we have a chance to to speak on it, but this new project, being that Sab was able to touch on the the. The most recent project and and what kind of inspired that for the new project is there certain inspirations off of that too as well like obviously you said damn was for um the previous one and even you know some other artists kind of like tailored around it is there something mm. new like is there some projects that you're listening to right now that you're like wow this is maybe i need to go back there and write some more verses i just heard this or I'm not going to lie after hearing. So I went back this, this album really like is this big influence. I won't lie. It's, it's uh take care. But like right. after, after uh yesterday and today, spending time, I listened to the new Gambino album. I'm not going to lie. I might definitely have to go back to the drum board just a little bit, just to, just to mess with a few things. Cause I really, really like that album, dude. The sonics of it are, is amazing. The, yeah. the production it's, that man's off the wall, dude. That dude is off dude, the wall. I say he's been off the wall forever yeah. since he I, started. It's not a, it's not like a complete shift. Um, I think even like because of the internet, like you can kind of see like his little play with all of these like sounds, instrumentals, um, and then uh, what's the name of the one with Redbone on? Um, uh, Awaken my love. Yeah. Even that one, obviously, that seems like a shift, but he almost he was always singing on tracks. He was always mm-hmm. very soulful on his tracks. So he wasn't doing like a complete like, you know, all of a sudden I'm I'm switching up to this. You know, like it was it was very the transition of all these albums are good. This one, yeah. I think he's really mm-hmm. like fine tuning a lot of those experimental sounds that he wanted to use on other records. And he 
couldn't really find a way to blend it in. Yeah, because it seems like it seems like he's taking things from his older projects, and it seems like he's yeah, he's really yeah. building on it. Like yeah, right now he like the D'Angelo sound is like what I'm like. Whoa, this man's really like this man's really trying yeah. to pull a D'Angelo vibe out of like whoa. Uh, the song he has with Twenty One. That's bro. I was yeah. just about to say. I think that <laughs> Twenty One verse is one of his best verses ever. Twenty one. I did um one of the things. He's getting that better and better yeah. with time, man. He what, really is. What I recorded yesterday, like my own little like semi side podcast episode, someone asked me what I thought about that, and I I said like flat out, twenty one has some of the best features across the board. Like he's always consistently been really great with his feature. There's always that mm-hmm. one line that stings a little more than everyone else's verse. So always one always, quotable. Always, always one quotable. One. At the very least, there's always one quotable. But his 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 bars, even when Twenty One first came out, my my opinion was like he's very it's very bland. Like he's very like baseline. Mm-hmm. His 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 vocal is like his beats are always good, but it's very baseline. So I was like, oh, there's only so mm-hmm. many beats that he can he can go on. But then when you start hearing him on people's features, like also like. Uh, Gambino found the right beat to put him on. So obviously yeah, it that takes was, that artist. Yeah, mm-hmm. it takes that artist to be able to do the right, like, hey, this is the one I want you on. But 21 mm-hmm. has been able to like been perfect on everyone's everyone's verses. Right. I mean, it's, it's, good. Even his his recent album, I think people kind of like brushed it under the rug and you know kind of moved on because our intention spans are so crazy. But I'll still go listen to that recent album. I'll be like Man, this shit is. The album was fire. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's you can't kick off an album with the, you can't kick off an album with a J Cole feature and it be a bad album, yeah. bro. Like it was, yeah. it was a fantastic album. It he went through everything was, it was consistent. It went from being it could be hard. It, it had its moments where it's like, all right, cool. I want to talk about, like he wanted to talk about women, bro. They say Twenty One really only listens to like R and B though, like that's his big yeah. thing. I mean, I could see it. Cause I mean he's it's what he's rapping about is what he's living through, so he doesn't really need to get influenced off anybody else. And then right. his, he, if he's listening to that, he's like most people listen to other people's music because they're trying to kind of bring some inspiration or some creativity into their their writing patterns. He he doesn't need mm-hmm. to. He's generating his own sense of pattern, and then he's just shitting on other people's songs <laughs> <laughs> and doing better than them. I mean that's I mean to be honest, he's been consistent. I thought yeah. it was going to, when I first came out, I thought it was going to be like, oh, he had a few hot songs, and then it's going to trail yeah. off. But he, yeah. he's been, that last project, man, was like game changer for his own projects. Like, it wasn't yeah. just like trap hard beats. He was like really spitting some good shit on there. So yeah. I'm, I'm very surprised at that. Yeah. Is there any other artist? Now, because you, you do have like a very soulful, like, vibe to your music too as well is there mm. anything aside from hip-hop and r&b that you listen to like is there any other uh, style of music that you listen to i do listen to alternative from time to time i really like tame impala okay. um i was legitimately I just to... gonna say that i got that off of your mu- i got that vibe off of your music so. I'm on Paula. yeah yeah maybe i yeah. really like tame impala I see it. yeah uh oh man i listen to uh mind design Thundercat. Uh, I listen to I listen to a fair amount of Flying Lotus. I listen to a lot of. Uh, I'm trying to like think of everything. I listen to some Loki. I listen to some weird shit sometimes. Have you ever heard? There's a song called "Dress Down" by this Japanese artist. I can't fucking remember her name for the life of me. But it's like, oh my god, it's it's like this '80s. Japan is doing like this weird thing where they're doing like 80s pop music right now. And it, it, it's hard. It, it goes hard, right. bro. It sounds like it does. Uh, I'm going to look this person up right now. Yeah, but it's, it, the song <laughs> is called Dress Down, bro. It's it's a banger. I can't. Oh, man. Who else? Uh, I like Crumb. I like. Uh, I'm almost typical of my music library. I can't think of everything. You ever heard of Crumb? No. No. Bro. What do you um 
Yeah, I'm going to look up this dress down. You got you to send me you, the uh, links, dude. You got to send me the links. I got you. Oh, okay, okay. Kauro Akimoto. Does that sound about right? I wasn't even going to try uh, to pronounce that. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you, bro. I, like the uh, It should be an image of like a woman's face. Yeah. Flowers or leaves. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, yeah. Now, other than uh, music, do you, I mean, some people drive inspiration from, like, movie, movies they watch, shows. Um, obviously, you mm-hmm. say you draw. I, I overheard you say that, too, as well. Is there certain things like that that you kind of get, um, certain things that you kind of get your style from? Is this, is this the lady right here? That's it right there. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> uh... I watch when it comes to TV. Like I watch a, I watch a lot of uh, cartoons. I watch a lot, a lot of anime. I watch of a, like I do get some. I I can't lie. I, I do get some inspirations from anime stories. I can't front that. Like anime. some sometimes they have. Yeah, bro. You you ever watch a good anime with a solid plot? They all have invested. Both of them have solid plots. That's what people don't understand. <laughs> Uh, yeah. well, I, I think more people are understanding say, now about that, yeah. <laughs> these days, yeah, dude, it, it picked up. It's it's pretty cool though. It's cool to see people actually are into anime these days. But yeah, I pick up, I pick up. Uh, hmm. I say like, honestly, the thing I pick up inspiration from really more than anything is just day to day life, like little little interactions with people. Like th- things like that. That's that's where I'll pick up my best inf- inspiration from. I I wouldn't even say like I've watched I watched podcasts. Podcasts have helped as well. Reading, reading books recently. That's what's really been like the big thing for me. I I finished The Alchemist over uh over last fall. Super duper that's good sweet. book. Um, that book there though. That book is. That book is something else. Make sure you look at book. <laughs> hey, bro, just I promise you, it's a good book, bro. You pick it up. So pick it, it opens, up. It opens possibilities for you. It open like you you start to look at things as like, oh man, like maybe this is an open door and a possibility. You it, you start to look at things just a little bit different. It's okay. I'll, uh, I'll look at it. I'm trying to think. What what else? Hmm. Now memes. Kind of- Switch subjects too as well. Yeah, that's another thing too as well. What what is your what is your involvement with the word simp? <laughs> I yeah, simp, bro. Since I'm a simp, but I'm 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 a, I'm a simp, not in the form of like I'm a simp when it comes to emotional wise. I've never been like a I can't I can't be a simp when it comes to like I'm not sitting up here throwing money or finances at girls. I can't. I'm, <laughs> nah, nah, bro. That's a big, that's a big no-no. But like, I have definitely been like a step in a sense where I've been interested in a girl, and it's like, all right, I'm gonna <laughs> let's make this happen. I'm, I'm trying to go all out and above, or I'm like shy <laughs> about it. So this is where like the simp thing comes from. It's just <sighs> basically my love life, bro. It's just simple. It's, it's simple, it's simple. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Shit. It's just it. It's you're like, damn, uh, what should I be saying? <laughs> you look at all that. <laughs> bro, it's just like sometimes I'm sitting up here like literally in bed. <laughs> I'm envisioning DMs. My nigga. This, this is what I'm thinking about right now. It's like, damn, I really like I've always I've always found myself in situations with girls where I've always found myself more interested in them than they have been in me. And it always kind of like it sends me into a point of like, I, I ain't gonna front. That makes me overthink about shit sometimes. So I, I get in my head and it make niggas start simping. And then you gotta write yeah. songs about it. Now, do you know where the word uh, originated? Uh, yeah, from uh, from simp- simpleton and hold on, I, the I don't from, even know the origin of this. I always wondered. It comes simpleton. from it's it's broken down from simpleton. It's, it means fool or uh, it, it, uh, a person who foolishly overvalues a love interest and places them upon a higher pedestal than they deserve. That's what simpleton means? Or simpleton that, is someone that they... No, no, 
That's like the definition of simp. That's, yeah, that's that's simp, simp right there. Yeah, simpleton is just a foolish person. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so simpleton is an actual word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't know that was a real word, bro? No. No, not at all. <laughs> like, like, like in the old movies, they'd be like, simpleton. <laughs> they end up with a name, know. like a last yeah. name. I thought it, <laughs> and I thought like, it was like... like little someone, kids like would be like, damn, I'm from a simpleton? They'd be like, fuck. Yeah. Well, because, you know, sometimes, like, it could be a character in a movie, like, oh, Simpleton, or a show, like, Simpleton, like, uh, Carlton, or uh, Roger from Sister, Sister, like, certain ones that, like, you know, you know, like, yeah, so, yeah, exactly, yeah, Roger is, like, king, if if that's what it means, that's, like, king for it, (laughs) it's So like, they got kicked um, out the house every day and was back. Uh, yeah. every Johnny, day. Bravo. Was back. Johnny Bravo is a simp all the way. Johnny yeah, Bravo. So. <laughs> Mordecai yeah. from regular show. Oh, my goodness, dude. <laughs> and then what's what's up with this whole uh, OnlyFans, bro? I, I see you got an OnlyFans. Damn, bro. yeah. Posting the meat. Bro, <laughs> he said I made an OnlyFans. <laughs> I made an OnlyFans. I'm like, yo... Go ahead and subscribe to the OnlyFans. I thought it would be funny because I was like, yo, you know, what if niggas made OnlyFans? But, like, I never post any sexual content. It's just me doing goofy shit. So the first oh, yeah. thing I did was I mean, like, yo, you, you I'm going to. You can do that, too, on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. It isn't always bro, about I just, titties. I just. It's not bro, That's what I'm saying. It's, it should yeah. always be about don't titties. Don't go there just for sex, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anybody who goes to OnlyFans with no intention of renting <laughs> their meat. I don't, I don't know anybody. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to just start doing goofy ass shit and like, you know, let's, let's see where it goes. Let's, I, my first video I put on there is called BBC Eats It All, right? <laughs> and like, I'm like, come on guys, y'all go ahead and check this out. I, I all I it is, it it, I didn't see nothing. Bro, all it is is literally me sitting at my kitchen table eating a bowl of ramen noodles watching Hunter Hunter. That's literally all it is. What, That's uh, the whole what, video. It's five minutes of me eating noodles. What arc are you in? Uh, I, ju- I just restarted. So right now I'm in the... Damn, you're in the, like, you're in the beginning? Mm-hmm. Me and Sab are I want to say they just got... I know it's going to... I can't even got see to the, you guys the screens. Coming. <laughs> You've been watching us all black really? this whole time. Yeah, I've been watching. I've been trying to imagine when you guys are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she looks pretty. I thought you could. You know, <laughs> he was just listening to the computer. Wait, what do you have? <laughs> that's why you. That's why Sab's falling asleep slowly. He's yeah. like just staring at a blank screen. Wait, Sab, you can't see nothing. No, I I can only see your screen. Only mine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, some technical so, issues, guys. So they're legitimately just, just, just like pitch black. Yeah, like it's just it shows their uh, picture and that's it. Like just their been, avatar. Oh. He's just, he's just been staring at your beautiful face this whole time. Yeah. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to imagine the conversation. <laughs> he's like, I don't even know what Fletcher looks like right now. <laughs> 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 uh, Hell no. Dumb, okay, so so you have an OnlyFans. Have you got people on your OnlyFans? I have not had one subscriber yet. I'm low-key kind of <laughs> no. too. It's just like it's like damn, bro. It's like that. It's like that. No, no one <laughs> subscribed to you. It's tough. I sent it to the I sent it to the homies who I knew had OnlyFans accounts, and they still didn't subscribe. It's free. It's <laughs> you just gotta you gotta you gotta post a booty pic. They'll come they'll be coming in, dude. That's too much, bro. I'm gonna just post a titty pic. I'm gonna put a whole titty pic out there. Call it a day. That's what they uh, do. Ulysses, Ulysses, what do you uh do you have any questions that you had lined up for? I mean obviously you talk to them on a daily basis, but is there any questions that you kind of like certain songs that you wanted to get a background to or anything like that? Nah. No. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I want, I want, yeah, I, I would like a little backstory of, uh, like, what Signs was about. Was that, like, part of you, like, supposed to be part of the simp, too, or no? <laughs> yeah, it's part of, it's part of, this, it's part of that whole thing. It was that, I, I, uh, have you guys ever listened to 
Dangerously in Love by Beyonce, like that whole album. Hell yeah, I listen yeah, to that yeah. shit, bro. <laughs> so have you I ever made, listened to like to that album? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fine. Have you ever so Beyonce has a song on there called uh I want to say it's called Signs too. It was she talked about oh my god, it was uh what is it? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, uh, 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 uh. she she lists all of the like the zodiac signs talked about the list all too, like, little small things. Yeah, like uh oh, like, like, like you all, did or or just or, or in a different way. In a different way. Yeah, like, it, it was a, it was, it was, yeah, it was a much different way. It was, I, I, I liked, I liked the concept of that. It was, I also thought about like I use, I, I take interest in zodiac signs. I, I think that, I can't, I'm not gonna sit up here and say like horoscopes are real. Like, oh man, like, you know what I'm saying? That people can predict your day. I do, however, feel like the day of your birth, like when you are born and the time that you are born, does somewhat have some type of effect of certain personality traits not who you are but just certain things you do little little tiny things it's so like i i think that that concept is interesting i of course everybody was interested in co-star at the time too so like i just thought it would be something interesting for the people to listen to i I really liked i really liked playing with the concept of it and i wanted to wanted to put on my own twist on like what i thought was the classic okay it's good. It's good. I liked how uh, I felt like it was just well composed all the way through. Like yeah, you, that's like you the one song way, that sat you always, that. and then you always wanted to hear like the hook again. You yeah. always, like just want to like get right back into it too. So it's nice. That, that's one of the songs that Ulysses plays like all all the time, bro. Yeah, that's literally like this man's like that's why I know, they get why I, I listen know that song. To music. This is all the time. <laughs> If I if I pass him the ox, even though there's not an ox I'm, anymore, I'm gonna throw it on. No, I'm gonna throw it on. 100%. That man, that man throws on signs. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that for real. All right, Sam. Since you can't, Sam. My bad. No, sorry, I'm I'm like losing his signal. Oh, oh damn. Man. No, he's. I think everyone's losing signal on somebody different at different times. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead, Fletcher. What were you gonna say? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even remember no much. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Just going to a different. He's gonna make something up. He's like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> um. All right. Is is everybody is everybody good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. You think so? Okay, Fletcher. Obviously, I usually do like where I say like, hey, in that camera, go ahead and um sign off but you're in everyone's camera right now so <laughs> and that um, camera over there just turn the, i have yeah. a camera set up there cam just look into that one yeah look so left. If, if if you want to just go ahead and sign us off uh and just say obviously once again your name where everybody can find you from so we'll you know in the post edit video i'll go ahead and put, tag your instagram your twitter everything like that um and then um obviously with your music you know where they can find your music too as well Sure, sure. Uh, first off, I really want to thank you guys for having me on, man. Radio Rejects going crazy. Uh, thank it's you. It's your boy Fletcher. You feel me? I, uh, <laughs> I can't take myself serious. I'm trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you can find me. I was like, you can find I was like, me like, any of my social media. Yeah, he's like, you know who it is. <laughs> you, know who it is. <laughs> you can find me at any social media: uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram at Fletch the Eighth. That's F L E T C H, the A. That's the number eight T H. Um, I, f- I forgot the last couple of bars of my life. What, 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 was- <laughs> were they, what, what was the next yeah, thing I was they, supposed to mention? I'm sorry. Where they can find your uh, your music to as well. Yeah. Oh, you SoundCloud, can find my. Apple. You can find me uh, under Fletcher, under SoundCloud, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, uh, Deezer. Live mixtapes, that piff. That's a lot. Uh, LimeWire, all that good stuff. <laughs> only fans. Only, oh, fans. only fans for only sure. Fans. Subscribe to my only it, fans. Bro. Flesh the simp, please, please, guys. <laughs> Great content coming soon. Is it flesh or flesh? 
Flesh. Flesh. Oh, okay. I was about to say that would have been dope to play on words. All right, Ulysses, since you uh since you signed us in, go ahead and sign us off. Okay, thank you everyone for coming. <laughs> 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 this is the uh day fourteen of quarantine. We do not know what we are doing. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> woo woo. Yeah. Everyone We're go follow. a lot more interviews like We're this. Figuring it out. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, Radio Rejects, and we're signing out. Peace. Peace.